don't ever have to look too far You don't have to cover up your scars You're perfect, darling, just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love Welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would do another day in the life vlog. Um, I really love doing these. Uh, so I figured uh, I would keep doing them. Hopefully you guys love them as much as I do. Um, but I just got done with my therapy appointment um, and I'll have to catch you up on some of the stuff that's been going on in my life and some of the stuff that I covered in therapy, which is like all kind of intertwined with each other. Um, but now I figured I would do maybe a little bit of shopping I think I might go to Target maybe, uh, TJ Maxx. Definitely wanna to go to Ulta. I just kinda of feel like entertaining myself today. I think we're gonna do another monocard chat so you can uh, you know, be caught up on what is going on in my life and maybe we'll get some coffee. So yeah, it's gonna be like a fun little day and I figured I would take you guys along with me. Uh, so yeah, let's go shopping. decided to stop at Nordstrom Rack before I go to Target because Nordstrom Rack is right here and Target's over there and I want to look for some jeans. I'm at like a weird crossroads right now with my style. Like I, it is thundering outside and I don't have an umbrella. Fantastic. Might have to buy one of those. But um, yeah, I'm at a weird crossroads with my style right now. I really don't know what my style is. Fall is coming and I need to like figure out what my style with jeans is now like I I do like the classic skinny jeans I know that is such a millennial thing I'm totally fine with that but I also need to figure out if I want more straight leg jeans I feel like maybe I'd be interested in those we'll have to see though because I have I have specific legs <laughs> to be honest that like I can't decide if they look weird in other kind of jeans um like straight jeans I, I don't know. Like, we're gonna see, let's go see what we can find in Nordstrom Rack, see if we can find some jeans or some like cute folly clothes because honestly, I'm ready for fall, but also I need to like figure out what my style is. So let's pop in there. Hopefully the bottom won't fall out. If it does, I hope they have umbrellas in there because I might have to buy one. <laughs> luck in there uh, you saw what I tried on there was something wrong with each of them like there were elements I liked of some of them but there was something wrong with each of them it would have been pockets or the waist was too big I often run into quite a lot of issues when trying to buy jeans so that is why I always have such an issue buying clothes um, my waist is so much smaller than like my hips so like what fits my hips and legs doesn't fit my waist um, and like those jeans like they were discounted but like the cheapest pair that I picked up was like $59 so it was still kind of expensive um but yeah no luck there that's okay though it's still technically summer so I have a little bit of time to figure out like what kind of jeans I want to get I'm gonna head over to Target real quick it is starting to rain um it didn't like start raining until I got in my car so that's nice but now I have to figure out like what I'm gonna do about Target. I might have to buy like an umbrella in there. I hate when I forget my umbrella at home and then it starts raining. It always works out like that, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, let's head over to Target. I really don't know what I'm looking for over there. Just kind of looking around, may get something, may not get anything. We will see, but uh, let's head over there. Yes, please. Thank you. One. You too. So I'm done shopping for the day. I didn't really get that much, but sometimes that's how shopping goes, which I'm cool with. You know, no need to spend money when you don't need to. Although, when do I really need to buy stuff? I don't, but no need to spend money when I really don't 
find anything I really want to spend money on is more of what I'm saying. I stopped by one of my favorite like fast coffee shops. It's like a little pop up. Um, it's been there for about four years now, but like they don't have an inside or anything. You just like go to one window order and go to, around to the other window and get your order. So I got a caramel frappe. Usually I get like an iced coffee um, or a hot coffee if it's fall time. I was just feeling a frappe and I've never had their caramel frappe and I must say it is to die for it's so good I felt like I couldn't do a vlog without like catching you up on the happenings of my life since I've kind of been keeping guys in the loop during my vlogs and uh, so I have my monocard chats during vlogs and I kind of tell you what's been on my mind or what's been going on in my life so I felt like I needed to include that in today's because I have some like relatively significant updates on my life. The main one being, and I've been nervous to talk about this because it obviously can uh, cause a lot of criticism, but I quit my job and you might be really confused <laughs> because I was so excited about this job. I just wasn't fulfilled. Um, and I, I need like to face some of the personal things that I'm like, working through in my therapy and I really needed to like put all of my focus on that and luckily and this is like really the only time in my life that I've been like that I've had the ability to quit my job because Thomas is the breadwinner um he's a little bit older he's got more experience under his belt so naturally he makes more money and um so it was actually his idea for me to like he didn't like force me he was he wants me to do what makes me happy. So this, can you see why I'm a little nervous to talk about this? He felt like I became miserable in my life um, and I wasn't fulfilled and I woke up so early every day and I had to go to bed so early. So I didn't really get to do anything to focus on myself. And while therapy is a form of self care and I really feel like I'm making strides there, because I was solely focusing on work and I wasn't really even getting to focus on YouTube, which you probably couldn't tell because I uploaded once a week for the past five months. Um, and so I kind of maintained my appearance online, which is a prime example of how social media is not a fair representation of how somebody's life is going. Because I mean, I, I've had a rough, rough run these past four to five months and I started to realize that I was trying to find fulfillment in like validation from external things does that make sense so like I have constantly tried to validate myself from other people or certain activities I do or a career so like I've always done this like it's just how I am it's kind of how I've been conditioned over time. So I, I felt myself trying to validate myself within my job and it wasn't making me feel fulfilled. And I was really blessed to work for my boss um, and like my boss's boss, it was a startup company. And so it was, it still is, I'm just not there anymore. <laughs> It's a startup company, so it was like a tight knit of people. It wasn't the fact that I didn't like my boss or anything like that. Uh, it was just that I was trying to fulfill myself in something that it wouldn't it wouldn't be good enough to fulfill me. Does that make any sense? Like I was trying to find my I was trying to find fulfillment and validation in things like my job, like getting a degree. And although I'm very appreciative and blessed that I got this job and I got my degree. And I wouldn't want to like take that time back or like take that experience away from myself if I had to redo it or do it over again. I would leave it just like it was. But I need to learn how to validate myself by just being me and appreciating me. And I need to really focus on that in therapy. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm at like a crossroads and I'm trying to like figure out like exactly what my next step is gonna be, but I do have the amazing flexibility of not having to find a job in order to survive because my husband is the breadwinner and he does make enough to pay bills and have a savings and stuff like that. And so, and he's very, very supportive. And when I said it was his idea, I kind of forgot to like expand on that. 
it was his idea in the sense that he noticed that I just wasn't fulfilled and I was getting irritable and I was not the most pleasant person to be around just to be honest and he just didn't like seeing me so miserable and he was like I just want you to figure out you and I want you to be happy and I'm so tired of seeing you so miserable and I mean this is this has kind of been a revolving cycle for years for me where I constantly am trying to find like outside sources or ways of validating myself or making myself feel fulfilled and none of them ever work just in case you're wondering <laughs> in case you're going through the same thing and this is kind of a pattern that you also follow I've noticed especially as I've started like I started therapy a few months back and soon after starting I realized that this is my cycle this is my pattern and this is what I do to myself and then when I'm not fulfilled I'm disappointed in myself and you know I expect more for myself I have such such high expectations yet I'm never satisfied with my accomplishments or anything like that and it's because I'm not fulfilled elsewhere like I'm trying to validate myself with my job or like stuff stuff like that and I need to not do that so what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking a step back and trying to gather myself and figure out my next step while figuring out who I am, my identity, um, and just what I need to be happy besides like the obvious things that do make me happy, like my relationship with Thomas and our marriage and my dogs and like stuff like that, my relationship, my friendships. And so um, I... I just want to figure that out and of course while I'm doing that um, I'm gonna be looking for another job but you know I do have the luxury of Thomas making much more money than I was making at my job so it wasn't like we were heavily depending on my income so yeah that's pretty much what's been going on um, I am afraid of criticism because I'm afraid people are gonna be like you're mooching off of him or he's trying to like tell you to stay from home because he doesn't want you to work. None of that is true. I do feel insecure and Thomas has to assure me that I'm not mooching off of him. I know for a fact that he's not trying to control me because he was the one after I graduated who was so excited to see me excel in my career, um, but he's now excited to see me find myself and like find what makes me happy outside of just like my relationship with him, friendships, so on and so forth. So yeah, I mean, he's just extremely supportive. Um, and I know that online, something like this situation can seem like different than what it is. And it's not like, I mean, I've had bad relationships in my life and mine with him is not anything like any of the ones that I've had in the past. And I'm very grateful for that. God knew that I needed him. And uh, I'm so glad that he was put into my life and that we are you know married and establishing ourselves like that um while also you know maintaining our individuality or in my case trying to find my individuality and my identity so yeah um i hope this makes sense and i hope it wasn't super rambly and i hope you can understand maybe why i made this decision but if you don't understand you know don't be too judgmental i guess my therapist and i are working to help me establish assertiveness in my like and grow my self-esteem and just kind of figure out who i am as a person and i'm very excited for that but um yeah uh i feel like i dragged this on a little bit longer than i wanted to because i was a little bit nervous but i hope you guys liked this monocar chats and i'm gonna finish my caramel frappe before it thaws i meant to show you what i got real quick um, I did get an umbrella from Target and this little mini thing was $15.99. I'm sorry. What? Also, I did look at some jeans at Target and I didn't have any luck there either. I just don't know what my style is. This is going to be like, you know, the jeans series with Monacana. Like, what jeans does she like? What jeans does she want? Which jeans look good on her? Ashley Tisdale actually just released her brand, Being Frenchy, I think is what it's called. She has like a whole line of like like hair and linen mists and candles and like bath bombs and like 
stuff like that. I picked up this candle because it was like the most interesting thing to me. Um, and by the way, this brand is only available at Target and they literally just launched today. And so I had to check it out and I was excited to see they were in my Target. Um, but I got this candle, it's called the Reset Candle, Awaken and Uplift Citrus Amber. And it smelled the best to me. It kind of, it's actually really chic looking. It's got this like neon greenish F but I like it. We're gonna see how it burns, um, but I think it'll match my aesthetic at the house because you know I'm all about the neutrals. So that was actually only like $13.99, which to be honest, I was kind of surprised by because you know, even though it's a smaller candle, I know that these celebrities can go like crazy with their prices. So I wasn't mad about that price. It's less expensive than the umbrella. And then at Ulta, I just repurchased um, the rosehip seed oil that I love from The Ordinary. This stuff is amazing, great for scarring and just moisturization, hydration. It's just amazing. It's a miracle product and it's $9.80. Then I got uh, a new release from e.l.f. and I got it in two different colors and it's the No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. I got it in the shade Canyon, which is like this pinky salmon, and then Sand Dune, which is like this taupey color. They're primer infused. Um, I'm interested to see how these work. I was kind of underwhelmed by the color selection. There were like five colors and there was no like shimmer shades or a shade lighter than this. Like there was no shade in between these two, like a nice transition shade. Because if I were just gonna slap one of these on, I would kind of want it to be neutral. But we're gonna try these out. They'll be in my next speed reviews video. This time I'm trying really hard to, you know, upload my speed reviews video before I have like a thousand products. <laughs> I stopped at TJ Maxx too and found absolutely nothing. There were no jeans there or anything that I was interested in. So that was unusual. I usually don't walk out of TJ Maxx without anything in my hand. And I was only there for like 10 minutes because I did a, a circle around the store and I was like, there is nothing here. So I ended up leaving. Like I said, I didn't get too much, which I'm totally fine with. And I treated myself to this and now I'm gonna head home and I think Thomas is already there, so I'm excited to see him because I missed him. And we might cook HelloFresh tonight. We will see. But uh, yeah, let's head back to the house and uh, we'll see where the evening takes us. So we're not doing HelloFresh tonight. We decided we're gonna go. <laughs> what? <laughs> too happy. Um, anyway, we are, we're going to our, as he calls it, the local eatery, <laughs> it's called. Oh my gosh, okay. It's called Station 31. Um, and yeah, it's really good. So, you know, if you're ever in the area, you should try it out. Uh, but yeah. You look so uncomfortable, but yet so happy. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna eat there and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what else happens tonight. I don't really know what else we have planned. Besides that, obviously. I'm not gonna vlog us sleeping, that would be creepy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're so we're gonna go inside. Did you say I love you? No. Oh, I got really excited for no reason. <laughs> love you. Okay, we're gonna go inside, eat dinner. Apparently I'm delirious, I don't know what's going on. Right. <laughs> we just got back from dinner and it was delicious. We ended up actually talking to a couple there, which was nice. Um, and so now I'm gonna get ready for bed. It's actually dark outside, whereas in my past day in the life vlogs, it's been still light outside, but it's like eight o'clock right now. So I am gonna go ahead and get ready because tomorrow I have a whole lot of things I wanna do. Um, so I wanna make sure like I don't sleep too late or anything like that. Um, that's something I've been getting used to is actually like trying to get back into like a relatively typical sleeping schedule. Um, so it's been interesting trying to adapt back to that, but, um, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take a shower and sign off here, uh, but, uh, I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope you guys will continue to watch my day in life vlogs as well as my other stuff. Um, if you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumb up, a, a thumb up, <laughs> please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And uh, also subscribe if you're not already. Um, but anyway, that is it for now. So I hope you guys have a great day, night, weekend, 
whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. We'll never grow old, even when we grow up. It's up to us to stop and smell each rose. To the colors that we show, it's the feeling that we trust. And it's the brush that we both carry. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love, love, love.